hello everybody hi guys and welcome to this channel if you're new hi sweetie welcome my name is maple do make sure that you follow me on my social media and if you're a returning subscriber hello sweetie sweetie today we are doing a lawyer corner video i remember when i was talking in my um life update if you haven't seen it here is the link go to it after this video I was talking about how I can't be doing Lawyer Corner. Uh, did I welcome you guys? I'm just jumping in. Um, welcome to my video, guys. I just want to be quick. I don't want this video to be long. We are literally going this year. We're not doing videos that are more than 15 minutes. That is the cap. 15 minute videos. Um, so I was talking in my previous uh, life update that I can't be doing Lawyer Corner content because I'm not in the Lawyer Corner space. But I figured... As for the title of the video, I remember about two, three ladies once asked, can you please do a video on how to dress for vacation work or when you're starting out as a candidate attorney on a budget, but you still need to look professional. So I'm going to be doing essentials. The essential items that I have right now, they are 12. There's four in each category. So you can choose your style and whatever. But I feel like if you have these essentials you can mix up um your wardrobe the reason why i'm doing this for the ladies is because guys can literally just mix and match if a guy has three suits they are literally set all they have to do is just buy a white shirt a black shirt a gray shirt a light colored shirt a dark colored shirt and they can literally mix it out with the color the different color suits that they have so with us it's a bit different but yeah guys without wasting any further time let's get into the video so the first category that we're going to be doing is the shoes um so the first shoe will be a pair of pumps i believe in pumps let me put one down a comfortable pump the flat shoe, some of them, some people call it ballerinas or whatever because pumps are actually heels. This is the first shoe that I have and I love this shoe mainly because it's neutral colors and it's like a Chanel dupe and this is my favorite color. So I love the fact that it's not like flat. So you are a little bit elevated and a little bit more professional. So I would suggest that you get this. This is very comfortable because you do run around a lot as a candidate attorney and as a, like when you're doing your VAC work. So I would suggest that you get this. The second shoe we have is a loafer. I love loafers, guys. There are so many different types of loafers. I'll put a picture here if I find one. I love this one. This is called a horse belt loafer because of this belt loafers comfortable easy to wear easy to walk in easy to like wear the whole day and you don't have to like um get tired because you're in a flat shoe and you still look professional and you still look fashionable the next item is a comfortable heel i know we just want to wear those thin pencil heels but as a candidate attorney i would suggest that you get yourself something like this it's comfortable and also if you're using public transport you don't have to like have many shoes you can literally wear this uh from your taxi until you get to the office this is a shorter version of a court heel i feel like most of the items that i can show you i'm going to show you today you guys should try and go and get if you if you're working on a budget just try and go to mr price um legit um the fix like your reasonable outlet you know i'm going to show you a court heel this is a court heel if you go into a shop and you ask i'm looking for a court heel this is what they will give you this is also from woolies this is like a shorter version of a court heel you know but this is also very comfortable. You can literally wear a court heel every day. Um, this is cuter. It's got like a sharp nose, but this is my preference. So get your black heels on and be comfortable. So we're going to start with the upper part of the body. Disclaimer, I don't have a hanging rail or whatever, but I had to make do with what I have. And I didn't want to hold the item. So the first upper clothing item is a 
dress shirt a white crisp dress shirt buttons up to the top it's formal it's elegant it's timeless um you can even get this at mr price the one that i'm currently showing you right now is from h&m like guys i feel like don't also sleep on that shop called exit i think it's it's exact or yeah exact guys if you want clothing items for work you should go in there my thing is always buy clothes that fit you properly so that they look beautiful on you okay so this is a nice shirt um you can literally wear it up you can dress it down you can dress it like you can dress it with anything black pants nude skirt a black skirt a black pants a black jacket and you are beautiful so make sure you have yourself a simple white dress t-shirt the next clothing item would be basically what i'm also wearing right now a beautiful black blouse i am a girly girl and i will wear a blouse any day any given day any given time i love blouses um i feel like this is very easy to wear and you don't have to like, put a jacket on top because you're already like a bit formal a blouse is going to make you look beautiful you can wear it with a with a with a, a black skirt and tuck it in or you can wear it with pants and to the point where even the way that you're dressed, you can even go to court, especially magistrate court, when you're wearing all black. Um, it is very ladylike. It's very, it's very feminine. I like to be, as much as we're in a male-dominated profession, but we need to also have that element of femininity. Is it femininity? I don't think that's a word. Just to be feminine, but still be within the court rules and the decorum and everything. So this is just like, a, it, and it's very nice for summer also because you don't have to wear like a vest. You don't have to put on a jacket. The hands are cute and ruffled. It's got a little bit of lace detail, which is super girly. It's got a little bit of a bow here that you can make for yourself. Make it look cute. Wear it with a pair of black pants and your nice court heel and you're ready to go. The next item is also a blouse but in a different color. The color is blue. Where can I put it? Mm, where can I put it? This, you can wear it with your blue pants. I prefer it with blue pants but you can also, also wear it with your black pants um, and a little bit of color in your outfit just so that you don't always wear black love it i'm a girly girl like i said it's got some ruffles over here the hands are like wide like so it's very it's very feminine it's very ladylike but it is still very much professional oh no the last upper body item that is a big 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 essential as essential as a white t-shirt the next item and the last item on the upper body part is a beautiful black jacket get a black jacket that suits you properly if you can get a black suit but if you can't just get yourself a black jacket and when you go out shopping for a pair of pants go with your jacket and explain that i want to get a black a pair of black pants that match the jacket so that you make your own suit because buying a suit altogether can be very expensive so and you know how sh how black is there are going to be like so many different shades of black and then when you wear it with your jacket it's contradicting but if you don't want to wear it as a suit you can just get yourself a beautiful black jacket that you can dress with your anything on um so yeah that is an essential this one i got from studio w from woolies love it underneath here i have the next item on the bottom parts a pair of black pants a beautiful pair of black pants i prefer my pants to be super stretchy this helps so that even when you're bloated and you're aware and they are high waist. I love I love high waist, I love stretchy, and I love them to be loose at the bottom or just straight and not just super loose at the bottom as you can see. Um you get to be very comfortable the whole day. 
you're not wearing something that's extremely tight and uncomfortable and or you're always pulling and trying to be comfortable this is a very essential a pair of good fitting black pants you have to have it and you know what you can wear this with all the tops that i showed you you can wear it with so how many outfits is that that's already four out, 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 outfits and it's just one item that you can basically just wear it through and through the next item that i have on the list for your bottoms or your body rather this right here like i've already mentioned is one of my my favorite colors this is a nude high-waisted stretchy pencil skirt you can wear this with a black blouse you can wear this with a white shirt and you will look nice appropriate and still very neutral and not screaming out for attention i loved the skirt i i loved to wear it when i was at work really loved it it's a very simple i think i even got it at china city also guys don't sleep on china city if you have a china city around the next item that we have on the list is my favorite dress of all times guys i love this dress i got this dress at Woolworths. it's a black dress you can't go wrong but mine has a little bit of white polka dot detail let me just bring it bring it bring it in closer so that you can see those are the details of the dress simple also very stretchy long enough long enough because you don't want to be inappropriate one thing that i love about a dress that is black and short sleeves is that you can wear it in so many different ways you can wear this dress if you have nice beautiful arms Unlike me, I don't like showing my arms. But if you have your beautiful arms and you're so confident, you can wear this on a hot day on its own with um, a pair of heels. Then the next week or in two weeks, you can wear the same dress with a dress shirt, the white dress shirt. Button it up. It looks so beautiful. I'm going to show you a picture of me in it. I love to wear it like this. Um... You're elegant. You can even wear it like this with loafers and be simple or wear it with heels and be a lady and be elegant. Love it. Another way that you can dress it is to just put a black jacket on top of it and you're ready to go. So this is one of my favorite items. And that is the last item on the... This is the last item on the list. Oh my gosh, I guess this is the end of the video. Another thing that I would advise is that to have a big bag as a candidate attorney lady. A bag that will fit um, your exam pad is a good example. If it can fit your exam pad, it can definitely fit in your laptop. If you're going to need your laptop for any um, editing. I feel like you need to have like your laptop with you if it's possible. Other courts have like places where you can... Um, type and print out but other places don't so you need to have your own things um, have a big bag let it be black or let it be very neutral so that you can hold it every day and it can go with absolutely everything that you wear and another thing that I'll go to is jewelry I would really suggest that you wear very simple dainty jewelry don't wear like big hoops to work like you need to understand that this is my work accessories and these are my weekend accessories like you need to actually know the difference so because you don't want to be like and most most law firms ha law firms have like a dress code of conduct so i hope that this video is going to help you out I, go, I hope you guys enjoyed this video i definitely enjoyed showing you and looking for all my work clothes to show you guys this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i am pressed for time right now don't forget to like comment and subscribe and follow me on my social media platforms and if you want to watch my other lawyer corner content just press the link up up above and yeah bye guys thank you so much i hope you guys really enjoyed the video.